wish you a Hey guys, Grady's mom here to do a video about Christmas shopping tips. So as of today, there are seven Mondays left until Christmas. Seven. That to me is insane. I already can't believe it is November and we can officially say that Christmas is next month. So normally I start my Christmas shopping in October, sometimes November. However, this year is a little bit different because we are going to New York for Thanksgiving. I need to have my Christmas shopping for everybody in New York done and wrapped before that because I don't want to ship it all. Last year, we went to New York for Christmas, so I shipped a lot of the gifts to meet me there, but this year, and I spent like $100 in shipping, so this year we're driving to New York for Thanksgiving, so I'm going to bring all the presents with us, so I don't have to ship any of them, so I'm going to have them all wrapped and labeled and everything, and distribute them uh, when we go to New York to the right people to hold on to until Christmas. So this year I'm kind of under... Um, a crunch because I need to now being into November already I need to have all my Christmas shopping wrapped and everything labeled in the next couple weeks so something I decided to do this year was set a gift budget per person type of thing normally I had an idea in my mind of a budget but I didn't actually write it down so this year I actually printed up offline this gift budget sheet um, which just has the person's name, the ideas for gifts, a budget, and then what you actually spent. Um, and I think this will be better for me to keep me organized and on track as well. Because not only monetarily, I can also go down the list and check off when that person is done. So I know that I can move on to the next person on the list. So I'm going to show you that um, gift budget sheet in just a moment. But I wanted to talk about sort of strategy and ideas and all of that. So I know a lot of people wait till last minute and my advice is don't do that because I used to do that and for one, you have added stress that nobody needs during the holidays. And another thing that I noticed is if I wait till last minute, everything's picked over and gone. You don't have as much selection. Plus the mall, if you're gonna go to a mall, is so crowded that I personally would get so much anxiety from all the people that I would just give up. I don't wanna wait in line for an hour for one thing. So that is a big reason why the past few years I have started my Christmas shopping in October or November to avoid the lines, avoid the crowds, avoid not being able to find a parking spot. And also I have the best selection because a lot of people wait to last minute. So if you are an early bird, you'll have more of a variety to choose from. So a tip I wanted to share is something I've been doing for the past few years for both my parents and my in-laws is I do a main, the main, their main Christmas gift as family pictures. So every year we get our family pictures done professionally. This is one of the ones that I'm going to be using as gifts this year of Grady. So we have a photographer here that we use and we just pick out what pictures we like and we order the prints directly from her. And then I go ahead and I purchase inexpensive frames for certain pictures. So for example, my in-laws and my parents this year will be getting this picture of Grady in this frame. I bought two of these frames uh, from Walmart. They were very inexpensive. This frame was about $10. So I purchased two of the same of these and I'm just going to put this picture in this frame. Um, in addition, I ordered smaller prints um, of our family and I'll get uh, smaller frames or maybe I might even get one of those frames that is a collage and has multiple picture slots and then I'll just sort of um, configure there are more poses um, in these envelopes but this is just to show you an example. Not only do parents and in-laws absolutely love pictures of your kids and you as a family, not that it is extremely inexpensive because pictures can be a little bit pricey once you pay you know the photographer by the frames by the prints however it is a really personal gift that is usually in my experience people see it as something very special and very thoughtful and it is not the most expensive thing you could buy um, so that is a really good tip if you can get family pictures or if even if you yourself can take family pictures or pictures of your kids yourself and then get them printed and buy some inexpensive frames again i think this frame is really pretty uh, and traditional 
and this was under ten dollars I think it was like 988 or 997 or something like that so this will be the big picture which will be of my son which grandparents love pictures of kids and then again I will purchase other inexpensive frames or frame collage photo frames and put the smaller prints in there as well so that is going to be the main gift for both my parents and my in-laws so they um, will mainly already be taken care of because I've gotten the frames um, for the big one I just have to purchase the smaller frames another tip is if you are a really good baker or even a decent baker why not make baked goods for local friends or family that you gift to I personally cannot bake I mean I could but I just don't enjoy it and I find that I'm not that great at it when I bake I use box cake mixes or box slice and bake cookie mixes so baking for me isn't an option because I'm just not really good at it and I don't really like making um, store-bought things and give them, giving them as gifts I think homemade is best when it comes to gifting um, that's just my opinion um, so I personally don't do that but if you are a person that is good at baking things from scratch whether it be cookies brownies some kind of um, bar I would suggest doing that maybe even make uh, the peppermint bark or the chocolate bark or anything festive and holiday if you can bake it it's gonna save you a lot of money yes it is time-consuming but you don't have to deal with them all you can make your gift right at home and then package it up really cute so that would be a good gift if you're a crafty person that can do Pinterest crafts or just crafts in general um, kind of little DIY projects that is an awesome gift because I personally absolutely love when somebody makes me something homemade and gifts it to me it is extremely thoughtful I know that they made it so it means more to me um, just because of the fact that they took the time to make it themselves so those are some tips for um, things that will save you money not necessarily time um, but you won't have to deal with the crowds at the mall if you can make your own baked goods or DIY projects or Pinterest projects so now I want to um, focus on this gift budget sheet you guys can find these online I just googled Christmas lift list gift budget type of thing or it's so simple you could just make one of your own and then I'm just going to use this to reference what I've purchased already if I'm staying in my budget uh, and all of that so I hope you guys enjoyed this video just keep watching for a closer view of how I'm going to configure all of this and again, reminder, seven more Mondays until Christmas. So if you haven't started Christmas shopping or at least having a game plan for what you're going to make or buy, I would highly suggest getting on that because it will save you some stress once we get into December. We're all busy this time of year, especially in December. I feel like there are so many holiday parties or uh, gift, gift exchanges and family gatherings. And um, I feel like it just takes the stress off to get things done in uh, November. But that's just what works for me. So I'm going to show you this sheet that I'm using, and I hope you guys all have a great day. Okay, guys, so here is the printable that I got offline. Again, I would suggest if you can't find something online easily, just creating like a, your own kind of homemade spreadsheet. So it just says gift budget, and then I just made the columns for the person, the gift ideas, the budget, and then how much I actually spent. So I just have my husband, my son, my parents, in-laws, siblings, and then under here, just for privacy, I covered... Um, some names because I have full, some full names here for like my son's teachers and then certain friends so again just for privacy this um, is all filled out under here um, but again I just didn't want to um, you know share first and last names of people if that made you know people uncomfortable um, so what I have done is just again made these simple columns and then for gift ideas I've just started filling in things because I really have to get on the ball and again I only have about two weeks that I have to finalize everything um, so for my husband I'm gonna get him a cologne I get him a cologne every year and then he does need work clothes so I'm just gonna have to write in the specific work clothes that he needs I am gonna spend a hundred dollars on my husband um, we usually buy kind of ourselves our own gifts the past couple years so I'm sure he'll buy some things for himself if he needs to and then I'll buy some things for myself if needed but my budget for him is a hundred dollars his birthday is very close to Christmas it's just a few days before so he does make out pretty well uh, in December for his birthday and Christmas 
And then my son, I have to write in some specific things that I want to purchase for him. I'm going to spend $100 on him. He gets um, a lot from grandparents and, you know, his, uh, my, you know, my brother, and my siblings, he gets a lot of stuff. And plus his birthday is in November. So Grady definitely will make out just fine. Um, for my mom and dad, I'm going to do the family pictures. Like I mentioned, um, I just have to go out and get the frames. I also purchased my mom a book. And I'll probably get her some kind of clothing item like a shirt or um, I usually end up getting her like a couple tops or something. So I usually go over a budget on my mom. If I go over at all, I always go over with my mom. I tend to spoil her the most. So this year it'll be, again, the family pictures with the frames, which I have to purchase more frames. I already got her the book and I'll probably get her like one top just so I don't go too far over budget. My dad always says he never wants anything, so I'll usually end up getting my dad some kind of a gift card and then like a shirt or something. My parents are pretty easy because they really always say, don't buy us anything, we don't need anything. And then my in-laws, again, they're getting the family pictures, I have to get more frames. And then my father-in-law, I usually get a gift card, a lot of gift cards. My, you know, my siblings want gift cards. My friends are the tricky part, as you can see. A lot of my friends here, their columns are blank because I'm stumped on some of them. Um, a lot of them, I end up getting things like candles or maybe something from Sephora, like a nice lotion or a lip gloss. Um, but usually for friends or teachers, I usually spend between $25 and $50 per person. So right now, my budget for this entire list is $925. Hoping to stay on track with that, usually I end up going a little bit overboard. Um, in addition to the $925, there are more added expenses that I do for the holidays, which are things like Christmas cards. We send out about 90 every year. Um, and the cards I already have ordered and everything. Um, and those were a pretty big expense. They were over $100 for all the cards. They're all personalized with pictures. And then I have to buy the stamps, of course, to mail all 90 of those out, which I already purchased. And then other things come up for the holidays, as you guys know, where whether it be a small gift for someone like a male person, you know, your mailman or your mailwoman, just little things come up. And you know, the holidays always have added expenses. Um, no matter what we plan for, we sometimes go over. So this is just a new format that I'm using this year. Like I said earlier in the video, normally I don't really write it down. I just kind of wing it with ideas in my mind. But I found in the past years, I've gone way, way, way over budget. And in reality, Christmas isn't really about the amount of money you spend. Um, I, I often say that Christmas is more about, you know, being with family and celebrating the holiday. And I try not to make it about the money or the gifts because really we all know that's not really what it's all about, but we all, you know, a lot of us get carried away with the holiday spirit, which there's nothing wrong with that. So again, this is what I'm doing. Feel free to create your own or just Google um, online, like a Christmas gift budget or a budget tracker sheet or something like that. There were tons of printables that came up. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it inspired you to start your Christmas shopping or planning. Have a great day, guys, and I will see you all very soon. Bye.